Our world today seems to be moving at warp speed. Pastor Robbie took us on a quick tour through trends that started during the COVID-19 pandemic. One of the things I heard time again from people was that they loved how the pandemic forced us to just slow down. Our very hurried and busy lives came to a screeching halt when all the things were canceled, but it didn't take very long for us to get right back to doing all the things we wanted to. And we seemed to like the speed. We thrive on it. We seemed to like to brag each other about our packed schedules and hurried lives. But sometimes, we just need to slow down. We're in a series called Stories to Live By, where we walk through the parables or stories that Jesus told in the Bible. If you missed this past weekend's installment, I really hope that you'll go back and listen to it on Mech's YouTube or the Mech app. When Jesus told the parable that we've been exploring this week that compared expanding the kingdom of God to making bread, he knew that he was talking to people who made bread frequently and would have thoroughly understood the bread making process. So far in our devos, we've looked at how gathering the ingredients was an analogy for taking inventory of our life, and then mixing and kneading the ingredients was like integrating God into all areas of our life. The third lesson that Pastor Robbie focused on compared, compared letting the bread rise to giving God the time to help us grow. Again, we really seem to love speed, and we can often become really frustrated when things are not moving fast enough, especially when it comes to things like moving up the ladder in our jobs or trying to mend a relationship with someone that we love. We can even feel that our journey with faith isn't progressing as quickly as we think it should. And maybe that's true for you. Do you ever feel yourself giving in to comparing yourself to other Christians, feeling that you don't have as many verses of the Bible memorized or that you aren't serving as much as you should, or maybe you feel that the time that you are putting in is not showing the results that you'd like? Have you been praying for something faithfully and it feels as though God is not answering those prayers? I think that it's important to spend some time doing a little spiritual self-evaluation. When you take a look at your spiritual life, try to be honest about whether you need to go back to step two, allowing God to mix into all areas of your life, or where you know you have him fully in the mix, but you just need to be patient and allow that time for growth. And no matter which camp you fall into, pray that God would give you the wisdom to take the steps you need to take.